All right, now, it's free time. Enjoy skiing as much as you want. And oh, by the way, don't get too carried away and get hurt, okay? Because it'll be a feast tonight. Okay, now, did everyone receive their rental ski equipment? Oh, uh, Miki. Huh? What is it, Haruka? I haven't received it yet, actually. Huh? You haven't received it yet? That's strange. Let me check it. Give me a second. Everyone, you can all go ahead. Um, ah, uh, Haruka. I'm sorry. Is there something wrong? How careless of me. It seems like I forgot to reserve for you. Huh? Look, I didn't know whether you were coming or not until the last minute, so... Uh, actually, I was the first one to tell you that I'll be joining. What? Really? Are you sure? I don't remember. Anyway, it was a careless mistake. I'm really sorry about that. With that said, could you please wait here until everyone finishes skiing? What? Huh? Is there something wrong with what I just said? You're leaving without me? Of course I'm leaving now, because I must enjoy the ski trip with the other mothers, or else it'll be a waste, you know? What about my ski equipments? Uh, as for that, you're already an adult, so you should do something about it yourself. You really do have that attitude, you know? You keep on depending on others. Why don't you try to do something about it yourself? Um, could you please help me find where I can rent the equipment? Anyway, good luck with searching for the equipment by yourself. Toodles! <laughs> I'm so excited to ski. Hey, please, wait a minute. That's just too much. My name is Haruka. I'm 32 years old. My good friend Miki invited me on a ski trip, but we might not be able to do anything about the reservation request, but... I think she should at least help me look for places to rent the equipment. It's her mistake after all. Ever since the last Parents Teacher Association, I noticed that she became bad tempered and cranky. Even though I promised I would go with them, I suddenly had to go to work so I asked my husband to go instead of me. Maybe she's mad about that. I even properly contacted her and I even apologized to her several times. <sighs> Excuse me, I would like to rent some ski equipment. Uh, I'm sorry, but all the equipments have been rented out already, since there are many people today. There might not be no rental ski equipments available now. But, then after that, I searched for other rental shops and asked them for equipment, but everywhere I went, the answer was the same. Without any ski equipment, I can't ski at all. I guess I should just wait until everyone finishes. Hey, hey, miss. Would you like to do it with us? Huh? I am me, Rain. I am Simomo Momo Japanese Pete and Momo Fried Chicken. And I'm simply me, a free woman. Here's you got a stray. Here's your ski equipment over there, so you can use that if you want. Heiji? He's probably the guardian of these kids. Uh, no, I don't think it's okay for me to use that. Because if I do, Heiji won't have anything to use, you know? That's fine. Don't worry about it. Because he's probably charmed by some beautiful woman and strayed from us. You will make him reflect a little. Uh, okay. Come with us, let's go skiing together. Okay, Miss Lady. I told you. Oh, look over there. Hey, beautiful lady. My name's Heiji. Wanna go skiing together? I'll pass by. <laughs> That's the hundredth person I ask. I think he's picking up women. See, it's fine to leave him, right? But... Don't bother, let's just go. If you won't, I'll pretend to cry and put you on the spot. Hey! Let's go, okay? Are you good at skiing? Um, well, I guess I'm good at it. Then please teach us how to ski. Uh, I wonder if it's okay. Just like that, the three of them convinced me, so I decided to ski. Haruka, you're so cool. You're really good at it. <laughs> Thank you. You're really amazing. You're very good at teaching us, too. Wow! I'll become the wind! Simomo, be careful, okay? Meanwhile, at that time... This is hopeless. Everyone is ignoring me. Rin, what do you think I should do so they will stop ignoring me? Huh? What? Rin? Sabomo? Your Highness? Where are you? Whoa, and my ski equipment is gone too. Oh no, what should I do? Dad! Two hours later... That was very fun. We skied a lot, didn't we? I went like swish down the mountain. I feel like I became better at skiing now. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. Good for you. Your Highness, Rin Samomo. Ah, I'm so glad that you're safe. You need to reflect on your actions. Heiji, I'm very mad, you know? Yes, I can't believe you left us behind the ski. 
I'm really sorry. So, are you the one who looked after them? Thank you very much. N no, there's nothing to thank me for. I will never forget this debt of gratitude. Thank you very much. Okay now, everyone. It's about time we go to our place to stay. Haruka, see you later. Bye, see you again. Too bad. See you again next week. Yeah, see you again. <laughs> they really are very cute kids. Because of the incident with Miki, I was in a melancholic mood, but I'm glad I enjoyed it. Oh, it's already time. I guess it's about time everyone else finished skiing. So I went back to the meeting area. Huh? Where's everyone? Could it be that they went to the hotel ahead? That's possible. It seems like something a new Miki would do. So I headed to the hotel. Then on my way there... <laughs> so how was it, Haruka? Were you able to ski? Yes, I was able to. Huh. So you were able to ski. Miki, you really are a... Uh, more importantly, where's everyone? They already arrived at the hotel. You were late, so I told them to go ahead. Huh? What do you mean I was late? I was just in time. You didn't arrive at 3 p.m. But I received a message earlier saying it will have changed to 4 p.m. You're the one who sent that, right? Oh, really? Did I send you that? This person really is... Ah, that's right! I realized this earlier, but about the reservation for the hotel room, I forgot to reserve for you, you know? What? You forgot to reserve a hotel for me? I'm really sorry. It's not like I did on purpose, you know? It wasn't on purpose. I can't believe you would go that far. Are you still angry about that thing? Huh? What thing are you talking about? I have no idea what you're saying. But you know what? I thought that was my bad to forget, so I searched for a place for you to stay tonight. Huh? I'm so kind and sincere, right? And that place is... It's here. Here? But there's only an igloo. That's right. I didn't reserve a room for you. So what I mean is that you should sleep out in the igloo. Toodles. Hey, wait a second. I can't believe she expects me to sleep in an igloo. This is unbelievable. How much is she holding a grudge of that day? Ugh, the snow is falling very rapidly now. It's very cold, so I should probably get inside the igloo for now. Huh? What? But it's unfortunate, isn't it? Huh? What's unfortunate? For Horika to go home because of poor physical health. You're right. It really is unfortunate for her. She went home immediately without being able to ski, right? That's right. So we should enjoy this trip for Horika's sake too, you know? Yes, but the blizzard outside is getting stronger. I'm glad we left early before the weather got worse. You're right. <laughs> huh? Miki, did something happen? No, it's nothing. I wonder what Haruka is doing right now. What if she froze to death in the igloo? Well, she is the one at fault, so there's nothing we can do about it, right? The next day. All right, let's ski to our heart's content today, too. Miki, it's impossible to ski today. Huh? What are you saying? It's our loss if we don't ski as much as we want, you know. Please take a look outside. Outside? Oh, uh, there's a blizzard. That's right. It seems like the blizzard has continued from yesterday. It's unfortunate, but it seems like it's not possible to ski today. No, I don't want that to happen! Even if you say that, there's nothing we can do about it. I've been waiting for this ski trip, like, forever, you know? I don't want to waste my time. Huh, Miki? What are you doing? What do you mean, what I'm doing? I'm going to go skiing. That's reckless, you know? Say whatever you want. I'll go even if it means I have to go alone. Nobody can stop me. Hey, wait, Miki! Ugh, I can't see what's in front of me. I told you, didn't I? Huh? Hm. I told you there's no need for you to follow me. I can't let you go alone, you know? Come on, Miki, let's go back inside. I can't go back since I've gotten this far. I mean, huh? What? Which way was the hotel again? Huh? Miki, do you know? Uh, I don't know. I don't know where the place to ski is, too. What about your phone? Oh, no. My phone is out of battery. Didn't you bring your phone with you? I was so caught in stopping you, so I didn't even have the time to grab it before going outside. But... What? Could it be that we're lost? You've got to be kidding me. Oh, no. What should we do? If we don't get back inside as soon as possible, we might freeze to death. Hey, don't say such a thing. You're scaring me. It's so cold. Someone, anyone, please help us. Uh, what, did you find the road? 
know, but there's an igloo over there. Let's stay inside that igloo until the blizzard stops. You're right. Good idea. I mean, uh... What's wrong? No, it's nothing. Haruka might be in there. She might be frozen to death there, but... If she's in here, I'm sure a phone will also be there. With that phone, we should be able to call for help. I'm such a genius. Phew. We're at least safer here. <laughs> not here at all. Huh? What's not here? It's nothing, you know? Huh? What's that? What is it this time? There's a door over there. You're right. I wonder what this door is. Maybe we should try to open it. If we're able to go down, it will probably be warmer there, you know? Go! Huh? Stairs? Let's try to go down the stairs. Yeah, that's the last one. All right, I won. The biscuit is mine. Hey, G, you didn't say Uno. What are you saying? I said so, you know. Hey, G, I didn't hear you say it too. Hey, G, me too. I didn't hear anything. Hey, G, unfortunately, you don't say it. What? Since you broke the rule, you'll have to give a biscuit. No, I told you I said it. You don't have good manners and you have no sportsmanship. All right, all right, bring it, thief. What, what in the world is this? Why is there such a room underground? Huh, Sarah? Uh, Horika, I thought you went home. No, I didn't go home. Uh, could it be that Miki told you that I went home? Miki, what is the meaning of this? Uh, no, um... Actually, at that time... Oh no, I can't go home with such a strong blizzard. If I don't do anything, I might pass away here. I mean, huh? I wonder what that door is. Huh? Stairs? Maybe I should go down the stairs. Hey, let's play Uno with the biscuit as a prize. Good idea. I won't lose to you. <laughs> I will show you the strength of an adult. I mean, huh? Oh, isn't that you, Haruka? What's wrong? W what is this place? Huh? Uh-oh. Inazuka buries me in the snowy mountain sometimes, so I made this underground room for that. What? There's a blizzard outside, right? How about you join us and play Uno here until the blizzard stops? This is what happened. The blizzard didn't stop, so they let me stay here for the night. Ah, so you're Miki. You're the one who tricked Haruka, right? What do you mean, tricked Haruka? That's right. She didn't reserve ski equipments for Haruka on purpose, and it seems like she didn't reserve a room at the hotel for her too, you know? Then she told Haruka to stay at this igloo and left her there. What? You did such a thing? No, I didn't do such a thing. Of course not. Why would I? What he said was all lies. Hmm. If that's the attitude you're gonna show us, then get out of here! Huh? Don't you harm me. I won't let someone who tricked my rescuer to stay here. It seems like you didn't reflect on your actions at all, too. What are you gonna do? Ah, uh, what do you mean? If I go outside now, I might freeze to death. All you have to do is stay in the igloo, right? That's impossible. Why in the world is it impossible? When you tried to let Haruka stay there. Uh, no, it's, um... All right, get out of here, hurry. And now I lock the door. Please open the door. I beg you, please let me in. What's your name again? Was it Sarah? Do you want to play Uno with us? Uh, yes. Just like that, we decided to play Uno. Several minutes later... Ah, I lost again! You're too weak. Heiji's too weak that it's boring. Heiji, let's do our best. You can do it too. Um, maybe you should check on Miki now. Yeah, right. I'll go check on her. N no, I'll go check on her. Don't worry. Leave it up to me. Brr, it's so cold. I'm freezing. I think I'm getting sleepy. Hey, were you able to cool off your head? I yes, I cooled off. I already cooled off, so please let me in. I've already reflected on my actions. I will also admit to what I've done. So please, I beg you. Tell me honestly why you did such a horrible deed. Uh, it's because Haruka's husband is extremely handsome, and I became very jealous, so... What? So it was all just because of envy? That's too horrible. But please, I told you the truth, so please forgive me. I still have another condition. What condition? Pay one million dollars to Harukura's alimony. What? A million? Of course, that's a given. Haruka could have passed away if she hadn't noticed a door to the underground room. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna pay or not? A million dollars is impossible. I don't have that kind of money in the first place. I'll lend you the money. 
I'm a member of the gang called Gossip Clan. What? A gang member? It's a more reason it's impossible to borrow money from you. All right, then I understand. In that case, goodbye. Hey! Please wait a second. All right, all right, I'll get it. I will borrow money and pay the alimony. I'll pay her, so please, I beg you, please let me in. After that, Miki was allowed to get inside the room. She was freezing, but other than that, it seemed like she didn't have any other physical problems. However, Miki, you're already warmed up, right? But your face looks pale. Just leave her alone. More importantly, let's play Uno! Uno! I will definitely win this time around! After that, we went home from the trip. And I realized why Miki was pale for the rest of the trip. It was because $1 million was transferred to my bank account. By the way, as for Miki, her husband heard of this incident and divorced her. It seems like the other mothers of the kindergarten also cut ties with her. And in order to repay the debt, she had to pay alimony. I heard that she's now working on a boat, and her husband took custody of their child. Heiji introduced a job to her, but I wonder what kind of job involves having again on a boat. I'm curious. Heiji, thank you for everything you've done for me. You thanks to me. I just did what needed to be done. It's a given, you know? Because you saved me. That's why I owe you. Hey, Heiji! Huh? Inazuka? The swimwear I used during summer is being auctioned on the internet. Do you have any idea how that happened? Uh, no, I, uh, I don't know anything about that. That expression on your face! I can tell that you know. I mean, you're the only one who knows. I will bury you. And uh, uh, please, uh, do it at the Snowy Mountain! I reject that suggestion. But why? I heard from Her Highness you made an underground room in the mountains, right? That's why this time, I'm gonna bury you in the sand! But well, wait a minute, but please! I beg you, help me! Heishi really is a funny person. I was truly saved thanks to Heishi. Of course, I'm very thankful to Rin, Mei, and Sumomo too. I hope the day will come when I meet them again. A few days later... Huh? A letter? I also made an underground room at the beach, so come and visit so we can play again? <laughs> Heishi is indomitable indeed. All right then, I guess I'll go visit them.